Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Slumdog Gaming. This is Joe. Mike's not here tonight, so I'm doing this video by myself. I'm doing a personal favorite of mine, Final Doom, which is pretty much the black sheep of the Doom franchise. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Doom 1, I like Doom 2. I especially like Brutal Doom, but all that will just come in the future. This is going to be my first video when it comes to the Doom franchise, but I'm going to enjoy doing this. Anyways, Final Doom. Released in 1996, uh, it has Plutonia, TNT, and Master Levels, which was part of Doom 2, but I thought it was a wise idea that they put Master Levels with Plutonia and TNT with the Final Doom, which Plutonia and TNT was 60 levels and master levels. I don't exactly know how many levels that was. Um, when I had that on Steam, when I was playing that, I believe it was like 12 levels, maybe more. So if they took a couple out of that and they mixed it with this on the PS1. Now, this is pretty much Doom on the PS1, as most of us know from Doom 1 and Doom 2 on the PS1, but it's just Final Doom, and new levels, no new weapons, no new enemies or anything like that, but it's still Final Doom. Everybody's always bashed this game over the lagging with the open areas that there's no new enemies, there's no new weapons, um, the levels are dull, boring, or either way too long or very easy to get lost. Thanks to Classic Game Room, they had a positive effect and gave this game a lot of credit, which I really appreciated. Other people that I know that like Doom as much as I do um, said that this version of Final Doom was a lot easier, which I agree, because if you play the PC version of Final Doom, it's almost impossible to beat. Now, I've beaten Doom 1 and Doom 2 on Nightmare, but I've never beaten Final Doom on Nightmare. And of course, the PS1 version doesn't have a Nightmare, but who's to say that there's something to complain about that, considering it's hard enough as it is. Although, the difficulty is... Uh, tuned up enough that it still makes it feel like that you're playing ultra violence on Final Doom. Although just I've noticed that the differences of a couple of enemies being taken out of spots in the game or um, maybe even changes of harder enemies not being in certain places in this version and maybe you would see them later on and the other Final Doom on PC, but nonetheless, this still is Final Doom, and it's still very difficult. It's a lot more harder than Doom 1 and Doom 2. That's a definite. Now, when it comes to the music, even being a kid playing this, I always found the music to be, like, you get sucked into it. It's just extremely creepy, and you, you feel like you're one with the Marine. The other thing you notice too is how difficult it is when it comes to the enemies. You're getting a lot of the harder enemies mixed in with the weaker enemies, making it more of a challenge. They don't fuck around when it comes to that. You're going to face Hellmites, Baronet Hells, Mancubus. Um, unfortunately, I have not seen Spider Mastermind in this. I've seen the Cyber Demon. No spider mastermind. If anyone else has seen him or her, whatever you want to call it, in here, you know, let me know. But um, you don't see the arch file either, or arch file, arch file, however you want to say it. There's been several ways that that's been said. Um, 
but you do get a lot of the harder enemies very early in the levels too and even in master levels on the first level you get every single weapon except for the BFG 9000 The other thing that I thought was pretty cool about Final Doom was the fact that each episode, of course, the further the levels you get into, um, the more violence that you see. Uh, you see bodies being burned above bonfires, you see hearts on huge stands, um, you just see a lot of grotesque stuff as you uh, venture further into the depths of hell. The other thing I would like to point out too is the uh, outdoors right outside the bases or anything like that. Like, for instance, with this level, the stars, or other ones you would see mountains, or just fire, which is, just shows that you're purely in hell right now, and there's no fucking way that you're getting out. But you're the Doom guy, so it's time to kick ass and take names. But, on a personal note, what would be your favorite background, uh, outside of the bases of whatever level that you're at? Personally, I like the ones where it's just stars, or I like the ones where it's mountains with uh, kind of like red fire skies behind them, or just pure fire. Ah, like this one right here. Look at all the fire. Just look at the background. It's so satanic and the rotting flesh there. I know that it's lava rocks right beneath you and you're not on fire, but hey, it's Doom. Um, this one would also be one of my personal favorite levels. Uh, I don't exactly know how to pronounce it, so if I don't say it right, then forgive me, but to me it sounds like it says like Balzix. Balslicks or something. It just sounds so foul and disgusting, but funny at the same time. But this one is one of my personal favorite levels because you just see hell from above, and then you're going down below, and you have no idea if your ass is going to make it out alive. Hey, you know it was always fun to make your enemies fight each other, so just sit back and watch the fireworks fly. That was always one of my favorite things about Doom, is that you can make them fight each other. And you just sit back and be like, yeah, make yourselves extinct. The most annoying enemies that I've always come across are like the chain gun guys, shotgun guys, because of how much health they can take away from you. The arachnotrons, if I said that correctly. If not, then I apologize. To each their own. But they just take up so much health away from you, and it's so fucking annoying. It's like, ah damn, motherfucker, I'm just gonna rape your ass here pretty soon. Most of the cheat codes are pretty much here. You have God mode, um, ammo and keys. X-ray mode is pretty cool because once you look into a wall, if you do it correctly, you 
can see through the wall and see all your enemies right there so you can prepare for what you have to come across. But all the cheat codes are here and it's pretty fun to mess around with. So my final thoughts about Final Doom. <laughs> um, I would actually recommend it to any Doom fan. I mean, if you're a hardcore Doom fan and you like it, that's great. I'm a hardcore Doom fan. I like it. Um, and I want this review to piss people off and be like, oh no. It's a shitty fucking game and you're wrong and blah 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 whatever. What's your opinion? And I don't give a fuck. That's why this is called Slum Dog Gaming. But um Probably the best thing that I have to say about Final Doom is that it's here to stay. And it's there. And it's not going away. It's pretty much almost like a virus. It's there. You're gonna have to accept it. And it's not going away. And there is no cure for this game. <laughs> this is Slum Dog Gaming. This is Joe, aka Berserker Lizard on Steam. I hope you enjoyed this review. I had fun doing it. Have a good one.